Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon from PlayStation. My name is The Fatless Bird, this is your Story Biscuit channel and today we're here in Chapter 3, Pit and Soul, at the Mortal Dragon Mountain. Or the Mountain of the Mortal Dragon? Something like that. But either way, uh, we are rocking a party with Dark Meru and Kongo. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. We go ahead and get started here. And first fight. Don't forget we got new music now. No, we don't got new music. All right, well, it looks like we're back to our old music. I'm sorry about that, my friends. I know a bunch of you guys love the new music. I actually did like the, 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 I love the music part. I didn't like the ending part of the music, like when you win the battle. But I did like the uh, the the battle the the battle music overall. It, it was a nice change of pace, and I wish uh, I wish more games would have alternate music based on location. We got Mega Sea Dragon and a Deadly Spider. I hate spiders. Let's go kill the spider first. Uh, oh, uh, I'm gonna use your turn to actually speed up Congo here. And then have him hopefully crush the spider. And by the way, thank you everyone for your constant, your constant piece of advice and constant tips that you've given me. You all are just so incredible, so amazing. The number one YouTube community in all of YouTube. I said before, I'll say it again because it's true. Because you all are amazing. And when we talk about tips. Particularly in the terms of this War God Sash. So this actually makes it so that you can get your dragon levels faster. That's what it does. It, it doesn't increase your max SP. It increases how much SP you get. So you could use that to increase Meru's dragon levels faster. You could use it to increase uh, Kongo's dragon levels faster. And I think that's really, 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 really good to know. I, I don't know if I want to use it though right now, but I think if I go grinding or something, it, it would be very helpful. So again, thank you. Thank you to everyone who's been posting comments on my videos. Uh, I can't say how much I appreciate you all for that. Uh, Y'all are the number one YouTube community, all YouTube. I you guys are just the best. Oh, I don't know if I want to... I thought this would lead me into the uh, the top right portion of the cave there. Maybe I had to go on around to the right to get those other two chests here. Alright, we got a really big party here. Dragons and no more spiders. Give off a little fire effect there. And once again, I am going to uh, go ahead and speed up Congo. Because I think Dart almost has his thing mastered. But Congo and Meru don't. So, making sure these two have more turns is preferably a really good thing to do. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Congo could have single 
picked up the other guy, but I wanted to try to get more additions and I failed. I really should see how much uh, additions I need on Congo and Marrow because I know they gotta be getting close. Well, maybe not Marrow because maybe not Marrow because she already had one that she's yeah she's doing hammer spin now. But Pursuit needs about thirteen more, and then I learn Inferno. Okay, maybe you're not. Hmm. Mind purifier, which is kind of useless at the moment. Although I do have extra items, so it's okay. Question though is, how do I get those items down there? It looks like there's a cave there. I'm thinking maybe I had to like knock something over. But I'm starting to think that there's just another way to get there through a cave. We got dancing dragons. Look at them go. The beastie dragons. Those things are cool. Let's go ahead and shut this guy down. And we can go ahead and heal up a little. I like this system where I get Meru a hit and then I get Kongo a hit. Alright, um. Do I carry on? Yeah, I, I guess at this point I carry on. I tried literally everything there. I mashed X all over the place. I see a tunnel down below. I see an area to the right and it's an area to the top left. A lot of choices here. Good dodge, Congo. I don't know how something that big misses you, but... Dang it! Come on, Flightless, you're better than this. Finish that one off. And we'll shut this one down. And do a quick heal. American attack. Hey. 
She's not gonna kill it, so it's okay. Dark can fully heal. Bungle could smash. The Great Mirror won again, though. Nope, okay, no worries. Okay, where are we going first? Bottom? I, uh, no, I think going right is better first. This should shoot me out where the chest is up top, right? And then I'm assuming the bottom is gonna shoot me out to the, uh, the other bottom section. Yep, that's what I thought. Healing Breeze. I already have a ton of those, so I'm not, I'm not like overjoyed by it. Again, I like it when the game gives me equipment or things that I can't buy versus things that I can buy because if you can buy them, what's the point? It's, it's not the big deal if you find them, you know what I mean? Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he looks amazing. Oh, look at you. You look fantastic. A wyvern. Oh. Let's go ahead and shut you down. Swing and a miss. on whitelist ah yes. man this thing's hard to hit oh my gosh I totally messed that one up I hit it like so early so early There we go. I, I completely messed that one up. Like, just completely messed it up. It, it was, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. It was really, really bad. Now let's go down here. And if I'm right, this will shoot me out underneath. Okay, cool. Giganto armor. Ooh. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Question is, is that going to drop your magic defense a lot? No, it's not. It's actually going to raise his magic defense. Not only that, but... Oh, my God. I know I skipped the other armor because the other armor raised by physical defense would drop my magical defense, but good lord. Look at that. Defense goes up 29 and magic defense goes up 6. I would say that's a pretty good upgrade. Yeah, that, that that's a pretty good upgrade. Now all I need to do is find him a pair of shoes. Like uh, Mario shoes. And that would be great. Because then he would have the same speed as Dart. And then the bandage ring, you know, is not necessary. Although it would be great if I could get another bandit ring. Because if I could get another bandit ring and two male shoes, I can, you know, speed to my characters a lot better. I mean, speed is probably one of the most important stats in this game. It, it, it's really good. Being able to move faster means you can act more, you can heal more, you can blast away more. I mean, just, 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 I mean, it, do I really need to explain why speed is important? <laughs> it's kind of self-explanatory. I mean, there are some games where speed isn't as important, uh, but it's still important. You know, a game like uh, Honkai Star Rail, uh, speed is really important, but at the end of the day, there's a round, so you can only go so fast before you, it doesn't matter anymore. 
But in this game, there is no, like, turnarounds. It's just whoever has the most speed that cycles through faster moves faster, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, we are missing left and right. Is this thing going to nuke me now because I keep missing? Yes. Yes. Yeah, this thing's going to nuke me now. All out attack. If it was gonna hit someone, Kenny Congo was uh was perfectly fine. I mean, it still hurt. Don't get me wrong, but I'm pretty sure that would have done a lot more damage on anyone else. Downburst. I mean, Congo's got like twice as much defense as anyone else in the party. Okay. Let's go up now. And by the way, we have started our voting for what RPG we're going to play next on Discord. Uh, the, the polls last two days. After which, I will put a poll on YouTube. Ooh, Dragon Helm. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to put up the poll until Wednesday. And I'm going to put up the poll like Wednesday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That way, when I stream on Friday, it would have been two days. And then when I start streaming on Friday, I can announce the winner of the next RPG that we're going to play. Providing there's no ties. We have had ties before. We almost had a tie in our horror vote in our last one. So, you never know. Uh, let's see. Dragon Helm. Wow. Oh my god. That is... Great. That is godlike. And she could use it too. Yeah, it drops her magic defense. I know. But I can get rid of her physical ring. Or I could keep her physical ring. And make it so that she has as much HP as anyone else in the party. It gives me options. Is what it does. That's a really good helmet. And yeah, her magic defense drops a little, but... I mean, 84... To 103. She has more magic defense than Dart does. So, it's... It's not such a big deal. What did this uh, helmet give me? SP is accumulate. That's not a big that's not a big thing. More importantly though, I just realized this. That Dragon Helm increases her magic attack by eight. Which is really good because she's a really powerful magic user. Fantastic. Okay, I'm 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 I am super excited about that chest. That was a great chest. Uh, I would like to... I would like to bait it first. And what I mean by that is I'm going to bait it to hit him. While I recover my HP. Because it probably won't use any special attacks. Because the enemies in this game don't seem to use special attacks until the HP gets to a certain amount. So I can basically heal my entire party. And then I can black them out. Yes. Go. <laughs> Madness, hero. I can black them out now. And now I could try to kill him before, uh, 
before he breaks free. Finding I hit. That's probably why I had a dart attack. I think she just hit level four hammer spin because that did more SP. Yes. This guy's got crazy of a. Probably because he's flying, which makes a lot of sense. But if Congo can get in there and get do some damage, I'm in trouble. Oh my God, Congo, are you gonna miss every single freaking attack? Come on, come on. Congo missed too many attacks. Oh, that sucked. Yes. Go. <laughs> yep. Hero. Yep, if, if Congo would have hit one of those attacks, I don't want to have been an issue. But because he missed them all, uh, it became an issue. By the way, uh, how are we doing on additions? Because I think Maru just leveled one, right? Mana's hero is almost maxed, but unfortunately we don't have level six yet. Uh, let's see, Maru has, yeah, she's level three now, 4760. And Congo is four more away. Hello there. Whoa. <laughs> this is really a good idea. It is from the top of the mountain, a little dragon. Like, that was a magic power? An awfully powerful mega magic. Oh my gosh. But whatever it is, it is our destination. <laughs> As if. Oh, that's Rose, right. sorry. It sounded like something Mayor would say. As if it is unburning his anger all over the world. The anger towards the winglies who sealed him. And us humans who dominated dragons. Then, does this mean that Denegard was chosen to be the place for the declaration of war? We will sell that on the top before of the mountain of mortal dragon before the next town becomes a victim. Let's go. Did, did, did our, our Giganto friend not get in that scene again? I'm sorry, Kongo. Total vanishing. What does that do? And it sucks that we just got hit by that uh, last enemy because now our HPs are all, you know, not great. Destroy minor enemies, big deal. Uh, I, I really would like to... I didn't notice, uh, I, I can't get into a combat up there. Uh, I really would like to get into one combat really, really fast, just to try to recover. Because I did take some damage from that last uh, pterodactyl thing. I mean, the wyvern. He's the tinkiest boy. And the first thing I'm gonna do though is use Congo's next move to uh, kill the one on the, the right. And then we'll heal. Then we'll stop the one on the left.
Because like I said, right now it's not going to do any special attacks. Sort of a way of using a tent in essence before a boss. Okay, I, I think that the uh, I think his thing has ran out. I still would like him to be at full health though. So let's go ahead and speed him up. And then we'll have him defend. She can go ahead and get damaging. And Congo can finish it off. Cool. Alright. That's a good extra fight to take. Would have been even better if someone had a dragon level increase right there, but you know, it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and just create a new one. And let's, are we ready for this? Oh, right. I, I want to go to you and change you all to Ultimate War God. I wouldn't want to give you. We don't know what type of damage you're going to be doing. Or this thing's going to be doing. I mean, increase your magic defense by 30 seems like a really smart idea. Uh, I could also increase your attack, though. By quite a lot. Especially since we have, someone has it, the attack badge. It's physical and then magical attack power. Yeah, I could do that and make you more of a, have you do more damage. You still don't do enough as much damage as Mero, but you are close. Am I okay with that? Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Maybe it's better to get more magic defense, but doing more damage is always good in my opinion. The enemy dies. I didn't see that there. I was just mashing away. The sound of swords. No, someone has already started to fight against it? Let's go. Either way, we'll have to join in. Alright, is this what is this speed down a permanent item? Like speed up? Because if so, that's really, really good. Yeah, it's a permanent. Wow, that's really nice. Um, I have, I don't think I need this many mind purifiers. Downburst, one base powerful attack, okay. Body purifier. Really lucky I was just mashing X. It's a good thing that I've gotten a habit of doing that. Would have totally missed that item and that would have sucked. You can go back now. There is nobody who would think that way. Um, may I excuse myself a bit? No. Hey, you are the representative of the Winglies. Come on. Are you going back to your force to hide? I, I was just kidding. When I do it, I can do it. Yeah, we need you, Mirror. 
I made up my mind. Anyway, if the people of Sotio knew about this, they would all fall over. Let's do it. What the heck is fighting up there? Is it Lloyd? It is Lloyd! Lloyd? It is earlier than I expected. Holy cow! Well, it is a future king of dragons. Even with the dragon buster, which can kill dragons. He still gave me a hard time, but he is almost dead. There is no need for you to come in. Why are you trying to kill it? I'm so confused. You say you are fighting against the divine dragon? You, you broke the seal of the strongest dragon of all, but you couldn't control it. It's the truth, isn't it? What are you yapping about? We can kill this man any time. We had to defeat the Divine Dragon first. The Sacred Sister of Melee Sisu. I see the replacement for the girl. How convenient for us. Shut up! Oh my god. How are we going to fight that? Even with this staff, that thing is terrifying. I'm with Mayweather. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Yarg! There was Kongle in this. Kongle! Kongle's like waiting to jump down from a mountain to smash him. Oh my god. Gulp. Dragon block staff. Good to see that work for us for a change. Oh my god, that's not good. Did he break it because it's too powerful? Attack and defense power, divine dragon and dragon. It said and dragon. So that means it might have affected me as well. Well, if that's so, then we just hit it as hard as we can, right? Uh, let's power up Kongol. <sighs> Not a good start. Uh, let us speed down. That should work, I think. And then let's hit it. Yes. Go. <laughs> now, I will admit, I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't remember how to do that. But nope, I got it. Now, before she transforms, I want her to go speed up. So that way her turn goes super fast because she's going to be weakened in dragon form. Yes. Go. Hero. That does not look good. Yeah, that hurt. Uh, dragon form? Not yet. I I'm still okay.
And I do have a ton of healing breezes as well. So I shouldn't be afraid to use those. Rather than risk going into Dragoon form and uh and taking more damage. I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, I don't want to speed her up yet. Uh let's go ahead and heal and breeze. Everyone in my party has a lot of HP, which really helps right now. Okay, the power up is gone. I probably should have saved the power up because if the uh, the dragon block staff stops working, I could go into dragon form, and with the power up thing I would have been doing a lot more damage not something I thought of though but it's fine it's fine it's fine yes. Go. <laughs> Hero. Good news is Congo will have his uh his uh pursuit max now. a big attack. I think I can wait about one more AOE. Mine cannon count too. What is that? Watch out. Dang it. He's going to do something bad. Alright. So is that morning defend? Should I use my healing uh, breeze then defend? I think I should have enough HP where if I just defend, I should be fine. The mine cannon count one. Hope I have enough HP. Hope I have enough HP. Here it comes. Oh, is this it? You've already been hit by this before. That's so biggie. That's so biggie at all. Oh, that wasn't the thing. That was not the thing. This is the thing. Oh, I forgot about that super laser camping cannon on his back. All right, yeah, okay, cool. It's good that we defended. Seems to get like infinite turns now, which is bad, but.
Having all of that HP helps with healing too. And look at that. Everyone but Dart is basically at max HP right now. Ah. I'm gonna have you defend. Cause like I said, you were the only one not at max HP. Oh, nice dodge, Mo. She just basically did like a backflip over it. It was pretty cool to watch. This may not be the most fastest takedown of the Divine Dragon in history, but you know what? I think we're doing a pretty good job. Yes. Well, except for that. <laughs> except for that. Much better. Ah, uh, he's gonna do his thing again. He's at red too. I don't think we can, I, I think the best thing we can do is just guard up. There's no reason, no reason at all to take the chance on that super wave beam cannon of his. I've seen what Piccolo can do with that beam cannon. I don't want to be hit by it. Uh, when I'm not prepared for it. The heck? By the way, why is he getting so many turns? Like, can someone explain to me why he just got like 50,000 turns in a row? It's not the second time he's done this either. Oh my god, Congo just took a shot. I mean, I was going to defend against these attacks, but the game never gave me a turn to defend against these attacks. The, the game's just like, I'm gonna get the Divine Dragon three attacks in a row because screw you, Flightless Bird. Oh, it's doing that super attack again. This thing really, really hurts. Glad I was able to get that defense on Congo. Getting him a little bit more HP before this attack goes off. Huh? Didn't hit Meru. Interesting. How come none of my characters defended against that? Weird. Should be able to take this guy out before he does that super move again. But I want to give a full heal to Kongo because if, they, if he does that fire attack, and then another AoE attack. Kong could easily lose 1300 HP in one turn. Yes. 
Okay, doing well, doing well, doing well. Just gotta be uh, consistent. I believe we could take him out before that counts down. Or at least I sure hope so. This right thing better not be lying to me. There we go. Cinemax Slash. Good fight, team. I had to go through a lot of breezes, though, because I couldn't self heal due to the dragon effect. But the divine dragon is quite low. Huzzah! 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 Chase after that bastard. What the? All right, that was an also coup d'etat. No, not coup d'etat. Um, coup de grace. Coup de grace. Coup de grace. Coup d'etat is when uh someone rebels against the government. <laughs> Wrong word. Oh, so that's why you revived the dragon. So that is. Yes. This is the Dragoon Spirit. The Dragon Dragon. Hey, it's the Dragoon Spirit! It's a, I told you there were eight Dragoon Spirits! It's a lot of EXP. I've been saying all game there's eight Dragoon Spirits. Or there should be eight characters because of the way they line up. I haven't seen all game, I've just been saying ever since I've had a seventh one. This is the soul of the living dragon. The flame of a soul that sparkles only at the last moment of a dragon's life. Its crystal is the dragoon spirit. As I expected, it doesn't sparkle in my hands. Lloyd, that was your purpose, wasn't it? This is just a little prize for me. A prize? I don't need additional power to destroy the world. The Divine Dragon was a mere obstacle to my ideal. I fought against it for that reason alone. You're the one who formed the conspiracy to destroy the world. The King of Sergio, what brought you all the way here? Is it the frustration of having your moon taken? Or your feelings towards your loyal friend? Hmm, what's his name? Yes, Lavitz. Don't even mention that name, you bastard. It is too early yet to settle things. Wait! Don't be so hasty. I'll see you soon. Where is he going? He is leaving the mountain. Chase him! First, we're gonna go back up here and see if there's anything else. Uh, how are we doing, by the way? As far as our characters go. Uh, doing pretty well. I mean, HP is not the best, but still doing pretty well. Menace here is now level five, fantastic. Uh, she has hard blade. I think she's always had that. Five ring, no new additions, no new additions, but pursuit is now maxed. You can now learn Inferno. Uh, let's go to arm. And I'm gonna give you... I'm gonna give you the ultimate war god. Not because I need it, but just because it helps. Divine dragon. And the reason I say it's just because it helps is I don't have to worry about counterattacks. So when I do my additions with dart, it's one less thing to worry about.
I just took down the divine dragon. You guys think that you have any chance against me? I mean, in all seriousness, you know? Wow, I can't believe I got that on the first try. I am honestly shocked I got that on the first try. Yeah, she was charmed as long as I hit here it wouldn't have matter. 204 points. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Should have done the pandemonium thing first. But it should be okay. As long as there's no other boss. Get that leveled up ASAP because he's not doing very good damage right now. And his SP uh, generation is really, really low, too. Come on, game. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a kick bar. Wow, it did that fast. Like, that was one hit. I mean, no, I guess, I guess it's on yellow, so yeah. Thing does not have a lot of life, apparently. Ah, oh, I missed it. It's kind of a tough camera angle, too. You know, I just realized if you use that plus uh, speed down, won't these like stack on top of each other? You'll get less turns, which means uh, the yeah, Magic Six Stone will not activate as often. Yeah, you see that? That is that is that is, that works. Can't believe it. I think the best thing I could do is probably meet you guys at the at the entrance when we meet up with Lloyd. But considering we're on about 54 minutes, uh, this might be a good time to stop. But hey, I love you guys all so very much. Thank you for everything. You are the number one YouTube community in all YouTube, and I can't thank you enough for all that you've done. And all that you continue to do for me. It means a lot to me. Thank you for everything. Thank you for Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for being a part of my community. It it's it's it it it, it's, it means so much to me. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all, and I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. I will talk to you again very soon. And until then, so long.
and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.